Heads up. If you have kids around, parental advisory is <laughs> yes. in effect. This, this, this is the Bonus Bone Podcast <laughs> with Lamont and Tinelli. It's like water torture. <laughs> Baby Huey. <laughs> Shasta. <laughs> and Joe Hawk. Welcome back to the Bonus Fun Podcast. I'm Woot laughing. Woot. I'm laughing because Joe Hawk just farted. <laughs> it was a <laughs> fart out his mouth, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't no, I don't know. I, I had a cannoli, a bagel, yet. cream cheese. <laughs> That'll do it. That's yeah, loading up. That's loading the musket right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this week on the Bonus Fun Podcast, we are celebrating Lamont Antonelli. Woo woo. What's up? 33 year anniversary. Yes. We're celebrating it on the air all week. And we're also celebrating it in person this Friday. At Retro Junkie in Walnut Creek, we're having a pate party time. Happy mm-hmm. hour, five to seven. Be yeah. there or be square. It just showed my age. I'll be square. Um, and, <laughs> and so I thought, you know what? Let's just celebrate on the podcast as well. Keep the party right. Going. Okay. So I figured since we're not going to play clips and stuff, we could just have you guys tell stories about some of the craziest shit that's happened or the wildest stuff, your favorite memories, whatever you want. Let's just story tell a little bit. Well, uh, and I think I've shared this before, was uh, a concert experience Uh where we gave away full on first class uh, concert with a limo to the show. Okay. We picked the people up. We ended up going to Eric Clapton and Eric Clapton, this was, oh my God, I forget what year it was, but whoever won... Um, we picked them up, I believe at a trailer park. Is that correct? Tanel, I do you believe remember? so. Yes. So, <laughs> so we picked them up at the trailer park. I feel in the attacked limo. as the Oklahoman in the room. I feel attacked. No, there, no. there's no attacking. I That's... never lived in a trailer for now, what it's worth. Now we picked them up and it was not only them, but friends of theirs. It was an evening for four. That's oh, right. Wow. And they were With pretty a limo, good seats. The whole bit. Back they when we had pr- budgets in right Yes. And it was probably... 10 rows center stage for Eric Clapton. Oh, they were primo seats. Right. Yeah. Smack yeah. dab in the middle, though. Yeah. And to date it a little bit, and I don't know what year it was, but it was six months to a year after Eric Clapton's child fell out of the building. Mm-hmm. And he wrote the song Tears in Heaven yeah. for his son. Yeah. So that it was that tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And great concert up until a very touching moment in the show. Paul, do you remember this? Well, yeah, they dim the lights. I mean, yeah. everything is quiet. And uh, he goes acoustic yes. with uh, Tears in Heaven. Mm-hmm. It was a very emotional, touching moment. And, and he gets into the story for his son, Connor. Mm-hmm. And oh. you could hear a freaking pin drop. And it's just him yeah. on a stool. Right. Yeah. I mean, the band is taking a break for him to do this song by himself mm. acoustically. Right. Spotlight on him, quiet. Yes. Mm. And in the middle of this, the moment he starts dun, 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 with his guitar. Yeah. Now, did I mention we are pretty much center stage yeah. in the middle, great seats. Yeah. And we took a limo. Yes. There was a lot of drinking yes. in the limo. I, I think the, 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 the listener drinking. threatened to piss in the decanter bottle. That was the same one. Yes. Oh, <laughs> exactly. God. If the limo oh, driver we were stuck in traffic. didn't pull over in traffic, and we were stuck in huge traffic uh, going to the show. Yeah. So the song starts, and all of a sudden... The listener stands up and goes, you fucking cunt. Oh, my God. To his Uh wife or girlfriend. Uh And they start fighting in the middle of shoreline, in the middle of this touching moment. Yelling at each other. And you guys are sitting next to them. We're sitting next to them. We're kind of hiding our faces. (laughs) And, And she goes. You're a fucking dick. And they start going back and forth. Oh. Now, at this point, now keep in mind, we are in the middle. So you can see security coming down, down the aisle. Yeah. And he's, fuck you. I'm fucking leaving. So he walks off. She stays at the show. So I'm wondering, I'm going, what the fuck? I mean, this guy has yeah. like a 10, 15 mile drive. Well, at the end of the show... He's waiting in the limo to argue with her again. Oh, yeah. God. It yeah. was a freaking And nightmare. you guys have to ride in the limo oh, back yes, home. with them. Yes, with them. absolutely. Which, when she got to the limo, they made up as if nothing yeah, happened. That's exactly what happened. Well, that's yeah. a healthy was, relationship right, right there. <laughs> they were happy absolutely. to see each other. I was like, oh, my God. Whoa, that so, is awkward. That hell. was one memory. Yeah, the, I mean, Any the, idea what they were fighting about? No, I, I forget. No idea. 
But the place just stopped. Oh, I mean, I'm sure. Clapton Everyone's... obviously kept playing and everything, but I mean, the <laughs> people around us were like, the mouths were agape. I bet. Yeah. And yeah. if there's 34 seats in a row, we were like seats 16, 17. Oh, smack I mean, dab yes. in the middle. Right. That no one could get close, uh, and I, that fight was going on. Oh, oh I just hear God. like a record scratch. Uh, what if Clapton would have stopped and right? looked up at you guys, made eye contact, and <laughs> right. been like, I've been like, are no. you Lamont and Janelle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't know who they are. I know, right? <laughs> Not with them. Exactly. Oh, that's awkward. So that was one of them. I think, like, work-wise, one of the craziest things we've ever done is we <laughs> that's had... That's a long what list. What would you do for... Con- and I used to love when we did these contests. Yeah. Uh, what would you do for concert tickets? And I believe it was backstage passes for either ACDC... Wow. Or backstage passes for Van Halen. Yeah, and I, Van Halen was so hot right. at oh, that yeah. time. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was Van Halen. Yeah. Backstage passes. And people, I mean, they were dying for these tickets. They were fantastic. I mean, the prize was incredible. Yeah, it would have to be. So we had one guy that um, stood up on our station billboard on 101. And we this is when we still could afford billboards. Yeah, I can't imagine. was standing there. On our station billboard, and people were slowing down because there's a kook on the billboard right. started yeah. off. Mm-hmm. And the billboard's right there and right next to the freeway. Yeah. Smack dab next to 101. Yeah. And at a certain time, he pulled down his pants <laughs> and nailed his scrotum oh, to the billboard. Oh, no. my God. True yes. story. He pulled out a hammer, yep. pulled out his bag, put it against the billboard, oh took my. out a nail. And people, now people are calling us. There's some lunatic <laughs> yeah. nailing his testicles to the billboard. We go, yeah, we know. He's trying to win a contest. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to win tickets. So, so was he on the phone with you guys? Yes, he, he was on the was phone. Gonna... Okay, I'm okay. about to do this. And, and now I'm going to... I'm pulling out the hammer, and you could hear, bang, bang, oh, bang. Oh, my God. Yes. Did he think to do that? Was that his Oh, no, he genius? thought no, to do this. No, that was his idea. Now, his, his trick idea. was, no, was I will idea. tell you, there was a trick to it, because apparently he had his scrotum pierced. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what oh, he did is take he yes. took the piercing out, right. and it really wasn't that painful to him, other than the fact that if he would have missed that nail head, oh, yeah, he would have hit himself trouble. in the balls <laughs> right. Right there and, and fell off the billboard. Right. It looked fantastic. Right? <laughs> it was well, unbelievable. There was a high risk there, though. Oh, dude, there was a high risk. Now, speaking <laughs> of high risk, also in the same contest, yeah. uh, I remember we had a guy who... Uh, the guy would call up all the time and try and win all these contests. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will come in there and stuff an egg in my ass to win these tickets. (laughs) A full on egg. That's like, Boiled? Well, he that was the trick. He uh-huh. he boiled the egg. Hard boiled uh-huh. right? egg. Yeah. Hard yeah. boiled egg. Mm-hmm. However, what is not being said as what, what he because he didn't tell us he was gonna hard boil it. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. However, uh we we start off the contest at six o'clock and we were ending it at nine because we had to determine a winner by nine thirty. Sure. It's eight thirty. This guy who has talked about stuffing an egg in his ass <laughs> for two weeks for this contest because mm-hmm. we had to whittle down who was going to be part of this contest. Yeah. Wow. Well, he doesn't show up. Not there. But he keeps calling, going, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So he he was on a bike, and I believe he came from Palo Alto. Yeah, he did. He rode from Palo Alto on his bike to How, oh mid San However, he made, he made it to where the uh, light rail was, and was waiting for the light rail because the light rail was right near the radio station. Right. So he had loaded his bike onto the light rail. But when he got onto the light rail, he dropped the egg. Oh. <laughs> and now oh. the egg is like, you could see where it's broke. Right. Like, I mean, you could see it shattered yeah. the shell. Yeah. Yeah. So he comes in, and there must have been 15 minutes left in the contest. <laughs> That's wow. right. <laughs> and go, well, you just made it at the just nick under of the time. Wire. Um, uh, it's time. I mean, we don't have time to even talk to you about this. If you're going to do this, do if you want to win these Van Halen tickets, backstage passes, it's time for you to stuff the egg Sit where the sun don't egg. shine. Yeah. Wow. 
Well, he lubes this thing up with it must have been a whole bottle of KY jelly. Uh, All right, I not mean, a sponsor. It looked like <laughs> it looked like a soft serve ice cream of KY jelly on this egg. I will. He then bends or bends over, and by the way, we had an intern in the promotion department. <laughs> Why we can't have interns there, anymore? Sit there squatting. Behind the guy because we want pictures of this and to verify right that the too. egg gets in the ass. Yeah. Because he's standing beside Paul <laughs> right next right. to me at oh his microphone, <laughs> and he tries jamming this egg in his ass. But did I mention he had cracked it while right. getting onto That's the light right. rail? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it won't go in his ass, and because the egg is breaking up, it looked like he made. Uh, it was making egg salad oh, yeah. in his oh. ass. There was friggin' egg flying all over Paul's workstation, oh, get all crumpled, over his computer. You ever get crumpled blue cheese at yeah. a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> the whole workstation was full of friggin' oh, egg. God. <laughs> yeah, that's so, what it looked like, except it was yellow crumpled blue yeah. cheese oh, all, all over the With floor. With KY jelly all jammed over, on it. All over the place. Oh. So this is the same contest. And the woman who won, uh, she dropped by the radio station and pierced her labia in front of a live crowd. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we brought in someone who was a, a, a piercing expert. Okay. She she could have used sir, stirrups, but she didn't have any. Uh-huh. Was opened up in front of, we must have had a hundred people in the studio for oh this show. My. And she and, spread and them? Just spread them and got, boom. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Did she scream? Did she? Oh, like, she, she heard a little, you heard a little, oh. Oh, and that oh, was it. Yeah, there'd be way more than. Yeah. Ugh, so when it came it. time to give the prizes, the listeners voted for the gal who had her labia pierced. Mm-hmm. Right. Her nickname was Elephant Ears. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when we went to give her the ticket, she goes, "No, I'm just happy to get my labia per- pierced," and mm-hmm. didn't want the tickets. She didn't even want. No, them. she they turned didn't them down. Want them. She just Wait. wanted to get she, her labia mm-hmm. pierced for uh, free in front of a hundred people. Yes, yes, exactly. She a free. Oh man! <laughs> so okay, so she passed up the tickets. Then who'd you give them to? Uh, they went to Nutsack I, I guy, right? No, I, that was up to her. I said you give them to whoever you oh, want. Oh, so she I still mean, got them, and she passed yeah, them along. Yeah. So Nutsack guy didn't get anything. Nutsack guy got nothing, and Egg guy didn't get egg anything. Guy got oh, egg guy got nothing. Egg guy got, wow. egg guy no. got banned well, from he studio. Never, oh, he never completed oh, yeah. the act. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, he never yeah. did what he was going to say that uh, he was that he that was going to do. And we had a few other people in the studio too, like the guy who put the tarantula in his mouth and broke a beer bottle over his head. But then he ended up cutting himself. Ray, I believe. I believe his name Ray is Ray the Tarantula his, guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. wow. Ray the Tarantula That he guy. ended up, after our show, ended up on the David Letterman show with weird pet tricks. Oh, really? That's yes. the same guy? Oh, he broke same guy. all over his head, cut himself, and then stitched himself up. Yes, oh. because he had he he did that so many times. And there was blood all over the station That's bathroom. That's impressive. Blood and eggs everywhere. Yes, blood <laughs> and eggs all over the place. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, that was before illegal department. Oh, yeah. our legal department right. would have oh. crapped their pants. I think the same contest, that guy ate like 20 goldfish, too. Yes, that is true. Wow. I'm assuming you're not talking about live the goldfish. No, they were live goldfish. <laughs> oh live goldfish. God. He ended yeah. up puking on like number 19 or 20. He yeah. puked oh. up the goldfish? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No goldfish well, were harmed. I was going to say, that's <laughs> good for the goldfish. That show. Absolutely. One of the wildest stories I ever heard you guys tell, and I'm pretty sure we can't even tell it on here, or oh, so it. we'll have to be censored. No, I'll tell mm-hmm. it. Was some of the girls from the Bunny Ranch who came down mm-hmm. and did stuff in front of a webcam? Yes, in in the studio, right? Yes, while and you guys we used to air? have, and this was a, when the webcam was unique. I mean, no right. one, it was brand, brand new, new. Right. no right, right, one right. had a webcam. Yeah, yeah. so um, we had a gal in with Dennis Hoff from the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. God rest his soul. That mm-hmm. one of the greatest guys ever. He really was true a nice patriot. Guy. So, <laughs> so he would come in and bring a gal in from the Moonlight Bunny Rats and show the ranch. Yeah. But we had a live webcam. So knowing that we had a webcam, the gals were getting naked. Yeah. And we had a live studio audience for that, too. We would cram 200 guys into a small studio right. that would come <laughs> in for, it was Whip em Up Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And he brought in a drill dough, I believe. A what? A Dr- drill oh, dough. Oh, I think I it was, it was a drill, one of those. Uh, power drill? Power drill, but it was a oh, back a sawzall, and, like yeah, a sawzall. Yeah, the sawzall. Yeah, Where it would it go was. back and forth and attached a dildo to it. Stop it. Yes. And then the Is girl this a thing? the girl would use well it was at the bunny <laughs> ranch. The girl would use the drill dough in front of the webcam. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. And so wow. I used to like I used to put little messages near their lady parts yeah. and go, 
Hi, Spruce. Because uh, I know all my buddies across the country are watching. Uh, and then uh, I'd get texts going, dude, I saw my name. Uh, <laughs> this was long before screen caps or anything like yes. that. I was so. just going to wow. say before social, before screen caps. So once it was done, it was out it was, into the ether. Yeah, it right. was done. It was we done. ended up crashing. At that point, It was uh, we were with Clear Channel Radio. Yeah. And we crashed the entire Clear Channel system. They couldn't figure out why every Wednesday <laughs> that... San Jose, uh, oh like New York and L.A., right. San Jose was knocking off the entire country with web uh, with our webcam. With the web traffic. Yeah. Did you guys ever get wow. banned? Or no, like- they couldn't figure it out. And I said, ah, <laughs> got a popular feature. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> exactly. To- that is crazy. Yeah. Now, speaking of, of the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, mm-hmm. there was another story that sticks out where we would give away... Sex for Father's Day. Uh huh. And we did that probably 10 years. Yeah. The last year we did it, um, and our buddy Jim was our boss yeah. at the time, too. Yeah. Love Jim. So um, we gave away Sex at the Bunny Ranch. And the deal was you had to nominate your dad to have sex mm-hmm. at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch for Father's Day. Yeah. But you had to give us a reason why. Sure. It was going to be a good story. So. One guy because he was divorced, another person because of this, because of that. I mean, we had, every time we did this contest, 20 people that were trying to win free sex for their dad. It wasn't for them. Right. It was for their dad Mm -hmm. at the Bunny Ranch. And I, I don't remember the gal's name, but she nominated her dad. And the reason she nominated her dad, I believe he had a stroke. Is that right, Paul? Uh, yeah, he had a stroke. His name was Tom, I think. Okay. And uh, he was, uh, he hadn't had sex and, oh no, his wife left him after he had the stroke, oh, right? Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, and he was a fairly young man when he had the stroke. I think he was like 27, 28 years of age when he had what? this stroke. And from, it was debilitating yeah. at that point. Yeah. And... He raised his daughter. The wife took off to party, uh, mm-hmm. and his daughter was with him for 25 years. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he raised his daughter with a stroke. That's, he dedicated his life to taking his daughter God. and raising his daughter. Yeah. So she said, my dad deserves to and win did, sex at the Bunny like, Ranch yeah. because all he does is he sit ho- sits home. He hasn't had a date because of the stroke. Right. All he does is watch pornos at home. Oh, my God. So we would have all the contestants on and the listeners were voting online on who should win this contest. Easily, Tom won. And every time we talked to him, Paul, what would he say? Well, we'd ask him, uh, hey, Tom, uh, what would you be looking for or looking forward to at uh, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch? And he would just say in his kind of slur because of the results of his stroke, he would just say, Big tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and, and we, we, the listeners loved it, oh, right? Sure, yeah. Big so two weeks. Tits. Big tits. Yes. Two weeks. That's the only thing the guy said on the air. Yeah. Big tits. Tom, what are you looking forward to? Big tits. <laughs> <laughs> so he ends up winning. And, and by the way, Dennis said, well, I'll take the top three contestants. That's right. So yeah. one hour, one guy goes in with the uh, gal. The next hour, another gal. So it comes time for Tom. Tom gets the last hour. Mm -hmm. Dennis says, tell you what, and the daughter came up with him. Mm -hmm. How would you like to have sex at the bunny ranch? She goes, well, I've never been to the woman. Would you like it? Sure. So now the daughter is in one room having sex. Oh, this gets, this is awkward. Wow. Tom is in the other room having sex for the first time in 25 to 30 years. Wow. Okay. So we talked to the daughter. It was fantastic. Changed her life. Now she's bisexual. Oh, wow. She friggin' loves it. Okay. All right. Now it comes time for Tom. It's the last break of the show. And he's he loved it. I first time with a woman in, in that long. And then we go into our Bob Lewis Volkswagen spot. The show's over at yeah. this point, right? Yeah. yeah. It was a a flaming success. It yeah. was it was a banner show. And we're yeah. just kind of wrapping it up. Yeah. Wrapping it up. And Paul has to ask one last question <laughs> well, to Tom. The same question we'd been asking him for weeks. Yeah. yeah. Tom, what was your favorite part about the Moonlight Bunny Ranch? And we're expecting to hear... Big tits. <laughs> Instead, he goes, a wet... Uh, live on the air. Live on the air. From the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. With no delay. Oh, my 
God. Now, at this oh. point, oh, I don't know there's died. no delay. Right. Oh, okay. So I go, delay. Hit the delay. Hit the delay button. Hit the delay. Who's but running I'm, the board? I'm hearing myself uh-huh. coming back. There's oh, no freaking delay. Oh, my God. <laughs> the guy who's working the board, Jim hired a guy. Oh, God. It was the first time he's worked oh, a remote. Oh, my God. Had no. no idea what a delay was. Oh. So we go, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. <laughs> That's live radio for My you, folks. My phone starts ringing off. I'm going, yeah. did I just hear wet cunt on the air? <laughs> I go, yeah, you did. He goes, what the fuck? Wet cunt? We can't get away with wet cunt. I go, Jim, what do you want me to say? I don't have the delay button here. Right. You were the guy that put a guy in there that had no idea how to work a delay. Oh, my God. Oh, this is not good. This yeah. is not good. <laughs> Do you know? Not one complaint. Not yeah, one. Not right. one complaint. That's our our listeners, complaint. the rock <laughs> listeners, wet cunt didn't even face them. <laughs> At 9 30 in the morning. 9 30 in the morning. They're eating breakfast. They're like, yep, that's Lamont and Tinelli. <laughs> that's right. Dude, you train somebody to run a board during a remote for Lamont and Tinelli from the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. At a right? brothel. Running the delay is the first thing you go over. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seriously. Oh. Those are amazing stories. Please tell me at some point you guys are going to write a book. Oh, we should. Oh, oh, I we mean, should. honestly, you really yeah. should. Yeah. I think that would be great. What? what? Yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, that's the name of the book. That's, that's, the, name the, of the, book. that's the next chapter. That is, that's exactly. a chapter right there. I can't, I can't even say that word. It's hard enough for me to hear that word. <laughs> yeah. I definitely can't say it. Yeah. My face starts turning red. <laughs> well, I am honored on that note. Yeah. I I am honored to be a part of your show Great segue. for over 10 years. I, I think I started, I started at part-time filling in for Mona yes. um, in 2008. Right. So that was a long time ago. And then I became full-time in 2010. So mm-hmm. it's yes, been, oh, 20, was it 2010? 2012. Mm-hmm. I became full-time in 2012. So 10 years, a right. decade. Yeah. Really, uh, really 12 though, because 2010 you were on the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was on the show. I mean, I was yeah. part-time, you know, filling in and stuff, but I became a big Part. Somebody asked. We today, said we I'm, want her on the. Bu- you guys fought for me. I mean, that's yes, true. We did. Because there were several people up for this job in the building who were very mad they didn't get it. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't blame them. <laughs> no names, but yeah. yeah, I don't blame them. But thank you guys for asking for me. Love, love, the so love, love. It's been ten years for me. Huey's been on the show. How many years? Seventeen. Seventeen. Started as an intern, <laughs> as a baby, literally yeah. a baby, a baby, baby Huey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember the first thing you did? To get on the show? The first thing he did? The first oh, thing he wait, did. Wait, where did he put we, we said He said he wanted to be a producer and he was working part time. Yeah. So I said, well, we have an initiation, which we didn't have. I was just making it up. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh boy. and I said, well, what was the initiation? The, the, the suppository. Yes, we said... Oh, on the air, you have to stick a suppository in your ass. God. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I, and yeah. I said, you have to put a suppository in your asshole. So he goes, okay, if I've got to do that. <laughs> so he grabbed the suppository, and we're on the air. And I go, okay, well, there he is. He's reaching into his pants and putting a suppository in. And I could tell by the look on his face the moment it went. <laughs> it, it didn't because work. It's like, it's like someone shot him. And I, oh. I looked at him, and I said, okay, we'll be back after this. And I said, you didn't really put it in your asshole, did you? And he goes, yeah, I thought I was supposed to. I go, no, I was just fucking around with you. I didn't think you put it the in. of the mind. So then he waddles off to the bathroom oh. because every time he took a step, the suppository would go oh, further. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. But that thing worked. Like, it, it cleared like, me It out. worked fast, right? <laughs> yeah, within five minutes, yeah. I was cleared out. No, it did oh, work. Can oh, I just say, to up, I am so glad I never said to you that I wanted to be producer during my time <laughs> as know, an intern. I know. Oh, we had a few. We had a few ready for you too. Oh, God. I mean, we were all, that's what's cool, actually. We were all born out of your show. I mean, mm-hmm. Joe yeah. became an intern, I don't remember. 2013. Right. 2013. The year after you became full time. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. So we were all a part of the LNT show, still are, some of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've come up in the ranks, but we're still with you guys. So. Right. Thank you guys for all you've done. Mm-hmm. Love, love. All Thank the you. craziness. <laughs> yeah. It's been a wild ride. I think we have to uh, reincarnate and do redo the uh, suppository and the ass show. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you did get promoted to APD, yeah. so, you know, I, I You missed the initiation. I know, I should have thought of that. You know what, I was 
giving you a year to be APD, and then we were going to do something. So your year is coming up. Uh, yes. So we'll think about it. <laughs> Once again, happy I don't have a producer. Know, exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on the Bonus Bun Podcast. Many memories in the past and many more to come. We love you. We'll talk to you next time. Love, Bye. love. Bye. Love, love.